control officers in one county are dealing with impersonators. And now they're trying to let people know how to spot a fake and how to respond if you do. WCI 3's Courtney Bunting joins us. So, Courtney, what exactly are these impersonators doing? Well, Paul, they're trying to take people's animals. This has been reported in both Fithian and Danville, and each time the description of the person has been a little different, but officials say this needs to stop. We've had three separate calls. And that's just in a month's time. All of them reports of someone impersonating a Vermilion County Animal Control Officer. Animal Control Director Casey Snyder says the story is a bit different every time. One of them, for instance, was a cat that's part was part of a spay and neuter, trap neuter release program. Um, was very well taken care of, but he's a feral cat, so we would never send anyone for that, really, because they're already to the vet and they're healthy and they're taken care of by their community. So what should a person look for? There are a few key things you should spot to make sure you're really dealing with animal control. Our officers should, you know, identify themselves. They have badges. They should be in our animal control vehicles, which are white, um, kind of like the report was, but ours are labeled um, with animal regulation on the side, minus one truck we're waiting for decals. And if you still aren't sure, you can check with other officials. Our officers are accounted for at all times, whether PD knows where they are or our dispatcher knows where they're at. Snyder says they want to stop this before any animals get into the wrong hands. You just don't know what they're going to be using the animals for, why they want to take them. You know, some people may be thinking they're trying to do the right thing if they feel like an animal's, um, you know, in distress or not being taken care of the way they would want. Or, you know, maybe they're doing it for malicious reasons. It's hard to tell. A while ago, animal control in Vermilion County took reports of impersonators who even went as far as labeling their vehicles to look like an animal control officer. So far at this point, it hasn't gotten that far. Live in the newsroom, Courtney Bunting, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Good for more information, Courtney. Thanks. So here's who to call if you're worried about an imposter who's come to your home call to check that they're with animal control. You can contact the office during the daytime hours or 911 after hours.